I'm Shelley Duvall. Welcome to Fairy Tale Theater. Tonight's tale is a story of rags to riches, of a cat in breeches and boots, puss in boots, a story of bravery and ingenuity, inspired by the end of a broom. It all happened quite some time ago, in a land not so far from home. You see, there once was a miller who lived in a very small kingdom, a very poor kingdom, who after a lifetime of toil died of overwork and boredom. And to my eldest son, Edwin, I bequeath my mill. Oh, the mill. To my second son, Edward, I bequeath my mule. The mule? And to my youngest son, Edgar, I bequeath my cat. The cat? My sight, can't you see I'm brooding? Oh, master, I have a plan. A plan? A master plan. You're a stupid cat and a selfish cat. You're only saying that to prevent me from killing you, which I will do as soon as I get up from brooding. <laughs> you will never know when it's coming. My plan calls you to take me to town, master. One day, when you least expect it, I will mangle you. <laughs> Town? I'm sorry, excuse for a cat. Don't you know I've never been to town? I'm a miller's son. Town is out of my reach. Once I expressed a wish to go to town. I must buy finery, master. Two words you've said which have no meaning to me. The first is town, the second is buy. I know not to buy. What do I have to buy with? Doesn't one need money in order to buy? And what is finery? A third word which means nothing to me. I have an idea. When you're asleep, I will strangle you. Yeah. Master. Dear master. Without a fine hat to cover my patchy crown where the goose struck. Without a fine suit of clothes to cover my tattered flanks where the mule kicks. But out a fine pair of boots to cover up the bunions on my paws from a life of toil as a miller's cat, I cannot play the part. Come a little closer so that I can get my hands around your vile neck. What part? The part. The part I must play to carry out my plan. Oh, I hate your villainous plan. Oh, the plan that will catapult you to wealth and station beyond your wildest dreams. Dreams. A fourth word I do not understand. You leave me no choice. <laughs> Joyce, a fifth word. I will go to your brothers and catapult them to wealth and station. My brothers? You would go to my brothers? Alas. Don't shrug. I will not have the cat of my father's will shrug at me. Or sigh. But master. Or but me. You would dare go to my brothers? It's a good plan, master. Shut up, you stupid cat. Your life hangs by a thread. Before my brother steal my plan, onward to town. <laughs> On the long 
long road to town, Puss taught Edgar to trust his loyalty. The first step in the plan to catapult his master to wealth and station beyond his wildest dreams. All my life, my father beat me when I asked him about town. Oh, he beat me every morning he awoke, master. He beat me when I was not working fast enough. He beat me every time he saw a live mouse. Beat me on rainy days. He beat me on rainy days, too. But he had his good side, though. He fed me. Whenever there was enough food, of course. He never fed me. That's how I became a clever cat, to trap my food. He didn't feed you? No, master. Well, he really fed me. I'm not lying. I believe you, master. I guess he loved me. You demand boots. Isn't it enough that I bought you a hat and I bought you a, a, a cape and I bought you pants? What are you going to do with the pants, puss? No different than you, master. I put them on one leg at a time. No. And how am I to pay for this finery? You have promised the milliner a fat rabbit. You have promised the tailor a pheasant. At your bidding. No. And where am I to find a rabbit and a pheasant? No. I'm ruined. No, you will promise the bootmaker a stag. A stag? A stag. An entire stag? A big one. I'm ruined. 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 I hate you, cat. No, it won't do. That, that's a nice looking boot. <laughs> I'm sorry, master. It's late. And uh, we've been looking at boots all afternoon. Well, see, I've shown you leather boots. I've shown you suede boots. I've shown you rag boots. I've shown you rubber boots. I've shown you hip boots. I've shown you thigh boots. I've shown you ankle boots. I think we have a problem. Hmm. Bootmaker, I'm looking for a boot as light as air, mm -hmm. fast as the wind, mm -hmm. a boot that makes no sound, leaves no tracks. You're in luck. I've got one pair left. Perfectly attired in his finery and in his boots, Puss looked indeed like a cat to be reckoned with. Ruined. Ruined.
ruin, please. I am... Master, this will pay the milliner for the hat. Voila! Two rabbits. <laughs> and one pheasant. <laughs> and to prove, oh, master, how truly magical these boots are. I've done it! I can pay the milliner and the tailor and the bootmaker. Save! 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 Puss, what's that? Aren't you forgetting something? What's that? Wealth. Wealth? And station. Wealth and station beyond my wildest dreams. You promised, Puss. Tomorrow, Master. Good night, Puss. Good night, Master. And so Puss paid a visit to the palace of King Fortuitous, the next part of the plan. Yes, dear. No one brings me nice presents anymore. I remember the old days, even when I had an army. Before hard times in the ogre, oh, I used to get such lovely presents. Oh, the ogre, beware! The awful ogre! The awful, awesome ogre! Hear ye, hear ye! The king and his courtiers are discussing the wicked ogre. Who goes there? Hear ye, hear ye. A cat approaches. A cat? Let him use the servant's entrance. Or the domestic animal's entrance. Do we have a domestic animal's entrance? This is a cat in a hat, sire. A cat in a hat? <laughs> I remember that one. Hear ye, hear ye. This cat wears boots. Boots? Scratch my previous order. This is evidently a cat substance. Bring this saucy cat before me. I am humble to be in your presence, almighty king. I should hope to kiss a pig, you are. What man of cat are you come before me, all puck and plop? Are you a cat gone high hat? Or are you uh, too big for your boots? Sire, I am here at the behest of my lord, oh. your servant, the young and virile Marquis of Carabas, who commands me to present his majesty with the assurance of his loyalty Fealty, humility, propinquity, veracity, d d devotion, and respect, sire. Here, Will. What manner of gift 